Welcome to the Christian Channel. I'm Yanitza Munoz. Today we are at the movie premiere of Monster Summer. What I love about this movie is that it takes place in the 90s, is filled with mystery and some monsters. We have some great interviews to show you. We have David Henry, Mel Gibson, and more. So Dan, tell me a little bit about your experience producing Monster Summer. It was an incredible experience. I mean, all of us are kids from the 90s, so we really wanted to make a movie that felt like the movies we grew up with. So our hope for the film is that we can make something that, you know, the new age kids can attach themselves to. Like, I think so fondly of those movies that we grow up with, like E.T., Goonies, and Stranger Things. So I want them to feel like an identity around this movie. And I hope that the adults can come and watch it and say, like, this is a nostalgic thing. I remember movies like this. And they can both get something out of it. That's exactly how I felt when I saw the trailer. Being a millennial myself, uh, very nostalgic seeing that trailer. I love that you even had Patrick yes. in it as well because yes. he was huge in the 90s. Yes. So producing this project, this film, were there any times that you felt like it was kind of hard to get the vision that you had? I think so. So there's a, there's a scene in the film, I won't ruin it, but there's a scene in the film where it takes place entirely in water. And just the logistics of filming in water are crazy. And we had a vision of what we wanted to do. And we had to reshoot it a couple times just to get it right. But it was such an important part of the story. It's kind of an inciting incident. So it was really, really important that we got that right. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for creating such a beautiful film with your team. And how excited are you to finally see all these people watch it? I'm excited. Go see Monster Summer in theaters October 4th. Bring your friends, bring your family. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Dan. So, Beatles were here. Yes. And in Hosu. Mm -hmm. Now, how was it trying to like show on the camera of your experience of being kind of taken yeah. in this? Right. Sense? Right. Yeah. No, no. I mean, that's a really pivotal point in the movie. I feel like, and uh, you know, it's it's kind of hard as an actor to you know, I guess, show you know the inner monologue while not talking at all. So. Um, I definitely had to work on it a lot, the facial expressions, you know, uh, the body language, you know, showing what happens to my character without talking, but, you know, I feel like it, uh, it translated great on screen, yeah. It definitely did. Your character, Ben, basically carried the movie, and it was really interesting because you weren't able to be too verbal, right, because you kind of disappeared and came back. Now, were there any tough times filming the scenes where you couldn't really have too much expression, you had to keep the zombie mode on? Yeah, I mean, it, it got difficult at, at, at some points, but... You know, I feel like having David Henry uh, as a director, and a lot of my scenes were with uh, Mel. You know, I feel like it, it definitely helped. You know, they have such awesome knowledge, and you know, they're willing to share it. So, as a young actor, it definitely helped. Yeah. And being that this is kind of a semi-scary movie, but also family-friendly as well, were there any times where you're like, okay, I got to tone down? You know, the the scenes here, I got to keep this, you know, family-friendly. No, I feel like it had a great balance of of, of being spooky in a way, you know, there's a lot of a lot of mystery to it. I wouldn't so much say it's, you know, I'm scared, like jump scare. You know, it was more about, you know, the spookiness and the mystery. And I think I think the movie, you know, had a perfect balance of it, definitely. And I'm really excited because Halloween is around the corner. So do you think this is a good, wholesome movie for the family this spooky season? Yeah, definitely. I think anybody can watch it. I think everybody of all ages are going to enjoy watching it and they're going to be able to relate to it. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. How exciting. The final, the day has come. We're here at the premiere. The release date is around the corner, October 4th. I have to say, I love that you're in this film. I'm a millennial from the 90s. I grew up in the 90s, and I loved watching you in all these iconic films. And now here you are in this film that takes place in the 90s. Tell me about your experience working with uh, David Henry and Mel Gibson. Well, I mean, geez, those are two uh, big names. David Henry is the reason I did it. You know, he called me and asked me to be part of it, and I've always been such a huge fan of his. And it was COVID time, so we just Zoomed, but I got to meet him on Zoom. And I think, you know, both of us just were feeling it. And um, then I was on set, you know, a couple weeks later. So that was really special. And then Mel Gibson, forget about it. My favorite movie is Braveheart. So, you know, that, that was... Uh, you know, he's a superstar, so you get a little starstruck with those guys, you know. But he was great. He was so so gracious and nice, yeah. And I love the storyline of the film because there's a bunch of kids in the summer. Uh, they lose their friend Ben. They're trying to ha find him. It's a mystery. It's a scary mystery. So what was it like kind of having this, like, semi-scary movie, kind of similar to The Goonies, Stranger Things? What was it like with your character adapting to working in 
a genre back in the 90s, not so much in 2024 vibes, but kind of like bringing that family fun type of movie set back into our, our audience. Well, I think the 90s or uh, 80s, 90s, early 2000s are kind of those years where, well, not early 2000s, but 80s and 90s where, you know, electronics didn't really hit. Uh, you know, digital age wasn't quite there yet. So there's something special to all of us, you know, people that grew up in those decades. So to go and play in that era and act in that era, that's, that's, the, that's amazing. That's what it's all about. And I love acting in movies because it just it's nostalgic for me too the cars the clothes everything you know what was your favorite scene in the entire film oh wow um gosh i i've only seen it once so I, i'd have to see it again i guess the favorite one to film was anything with the kids you know uh, i mean they're not kids anymore they're all taller than me and they're adults now because we filmed it a few years ago but uh, any of the stuff with them, because that brought back good memories for me, too. Yeah. So you are the director of Father Stu. Tell me a little bit about your experience directing that film. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's been so long. <laughs> it was it was amazing. It was one of the one of the highlights of my life so far. Um, it was uh, it was such a, a blessing to be tasked with that responsibility. Um, and uh, I was really, really proud of how it turned out and um, looking forward to contributing more content like that to the world. Beautiful. And also, do you find yourself doing more Catholic films in the near future? Um, yeah, well, I have a couple in development, yeah. Um, so we'll see, you know, these things take a while to get off the ground, but that's certainly my intention. Yeah, nice to meet you, Thank you so much for your time. Hi, Mel, I'm Yanitza Munoz with The Christian Channel. Thanks so much for t uh, speaking with me today. So, where, where, well, where are you based? Well, I'm Catholic, and uh, that's my cousin, he's CEO. We're all Catholic, and we're based right. in Irvine, California. So just, you know, right off the uh, 55 five as well, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about your experience working with David Henry in Monster Summer. Um, David's great. When I met him over coffee, he was like um, the friendliest guy on the planet. So, and I knew he was um, creative, and I knew he would be good to work with and collaborate with. And in fact, I was right, and I did have a good time. So I don't regret the experience at all, and he's become a very good friend. Beautiful, and I also love the 90s nostalgic. I'm a millennial, so seeing Patrick in it and seeing that it takes place in the 90s, and it's a wholesome movie with mystery and adventure. Now, was that another reason that you're so drawn to it, being that it was kind of fun and wholesome, a little bit of scary, but not too much? Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of, it, it, hits, it hits a certain spot. Now, were there any challenges filming the movie? I know you guys try to make it like a summertime film on the East Coast. What was all that like? Well, there was the COVID thing, you know, and then Mason got sick at one point. They had to stop, you know, that kind of stuff. It's the usual, you know. Beautiful. Yeah, well, Production hell. I know, right? That's all like beautiful. There's always something that goes on. Uh, one last question. What is your favorite Bible verse? I, mean, I don't have a favorite. I mean, there's too many good ones. Beautiful. And, and, and they're hard to, you know, they all mean something different. I mean, it's great. From the Old Testament and the New Testament. I mean, they're both, they're all, it's, uh, you can't, how could you possibly pick one? Yeah. I'm Yanitza some movies with the Christian Channel, and I hope you had as much fun as I did for the Monster Summer movie premiere.